Welcome to Electra Online and for those who forgot how to work with cones, let's do a volume problem dealing with a cone. And here we are given that the height is eight times the radius of the base and the volume is 72 pi cubic feet. What are the dimensions? And so again, you want to let x represent the smallest uh, unit here or the smallest dimension. In this case, the smallest dimension would be r. So we're going to say let x equal the radius. And radius is represented by r. And since the height is 8 times the radius, we can then say that 8x equals the height h. And then we need an equation for the volume of a cone. And it turns out that the volume of a cone is equal to 1 third the area of the base times the height. All right. And so this becomes volume equals 1 third. Since the base is a circle, we can then say that would be pi r squared and on the height h, and now we can replace r and h by what they are equal to in terms of x, since r is equal to x and h is equal to 8x, we can write that the volume is equal to 1 third pi times x squared, and h would be 8x. So finally we can say that the volume is equal to 8 thirds pi x cubed. And then we were told that the volume is equal to 72 pi cubic feet, so we can write that 72 pi is equal to 8 thirds pi x cubed. And then we can see that we can divide both sides by pi and both sides by 8, make things a little bit easier. So divide the left side by 8 pi and the right side by 8 pi. And so let's move over here to make it a little simpler. So the pi's cancel out 72 divided by 8, that would be uh, 9. So, yep, that would be... Uh, 9 is equal to 1 third. The 8 is cancelled out, the pi is cancelled out. Might as well just go ahead and do that. So pi, and then this becomes a 9, this becomes a 1. And then we still have uh, 1 third times x cubed. Okay, now going on, multiplying both sides by 3 to get rid of the fraction. That means that 27 is equal to x cubed. And finally, x is equal to the cube root of 27, which is equal to 3. So now we know that x is equal to 3, coming back over here, the radius therefore is 3 feet. And then the height, which is 8 times that, therefore that must be 24 feet. And that's how we do that. Again, let x equal the smallest dimension, and then it becomes fairly easy to work out the problem. 